Hey there, Philip here, and today I want to show you two versions of my game. One of them is recent, like like as in like today, and another one is about a week ago. And I want to show you how big of a difference there can be uh, from one version to another if things come together. So I make systemic games, like Giant Robot Game is a systemic game with a bunch of systems and a bunch of little mechanics that all kind of interlock. And these games, often when you develop them, they are not really fun to play, right? Because all these systems are there and you have to work on these systems, but they're all below the surface. And only at some point do they come above the surface and actually contribute to the fun, right? And so there are, there are two things that I did in the past week or so uh, which kind of brought things from the subsurface into in onto surface. <laughs> so now it's it plays better. So this is the version from a week ago, uh, right? And I'll just open the arena and uh, you don't know, care about this. <laughs> but uh, so this is a game about mech combat, right? And uh, so... I have a mag here, and the the idea is that you have a lot of options. Like you can you can do a bunch of stuff, right? So like you can deploy, repair, stuff like this. In case you don't know about what what giant robot game is, right? So I'll spawn some enemies. They're not enemies yet, but now they will, right? And now I can uh, you can see that um, like the enemies aren't really shooting that much. They're actually not shooting at all. <laughs> Why aren't they sh not shooting? Come on, that it was not that bad. What? Uh, did I? Oh yeah, okay. Um, anyway, w one thing that I'll also spawn this enemy. W one thing that you'll notice now that that every everyone is spawned is that it's very easy for me to just avoid getting shot at because. Uh, the enemies just don't lead their shots, you know. Like, like it's if I wait for them to to shoot, I can literally just like run away from from their shots, right? And uh, I can. Th there's different enemies, and I can aim at like the left leg, for example. So the the code is there. But I don't really need it, and I don't really do it a lot, because first of all, I can just go in circles and just uh, whittle down all the enemies if I want to, and second of all, I uh, uh, it's it's hard for me to get there, you know, and it's also it's just a list of things, you know. So uh, in the end. Like the game is, I think it's it's kind of fun to play, but it, but it's really it's really about strafing, uh, which means just going in a different def direction than you're looking and shooting, and um, and that's it. Um, of course, there are other things that I could talk about that are already here and that could be fine, like deploying mines and stuff like this, but uh, it's not. You know, it's 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 uh, it's mostly like an action game almost, right? So that's the old version. Now let's have a look at the new one, um, if I may. Uh, wait a minute, where where am I? Oh man! Uh, oh yeah. I like how fast it starts up. Uh, let me show you. That's the game, okay. Oh, it opens over here. <laughs> Sorry, but it's it's immediate. It it opens immediately. So this is also uh, it seems weird for a game, but it's one of the like uh, one of my goals was to make a game that immediately starts, so that hopefully that will stay for a, a, a while longer. Um, so that I can, so so that it can be like a very quick fix, you know. So I'm, I'll just make it a little bigger. This is how. Uh, yeah, that's not how it should. What's going on? Oh, okay, 
okay, I have a bug here. That's fine. <laughs> um, so now this is the version that that I have made with two big changes, like small changes, but big changes. All right, so I'll spawn enemies again, and they're not um, enemies yet. But I'll just want to show you, like, if I um, First of all, they, they start looking at me, which is cool. And second of all, when they start shooting, you'll <laughs> you'll notice that it's uh, it's pretty intense. Like they they can they can shoot. They they can actually uh, lead their shots. Th this is the first big difference: is that I actually wrote the computer like a ballistic computer that that is able to to look at a target and see where exactly to shoot so that the target and the shot meet at the same time. Of course, I add some kind of, um, you know, uh, this on accuracy, <laughs> the, the opposite of accuracy, I add that. And um, so that it's not always exact, uh, but just going around in circles doesn't really help you that much anymore, you know? Um, so that's one thing. Second thing is now I have this radial me menu with a little schematic, right? So I can be like, oh, the grenade launcher is having problems. I can just repair that one, all right? Now it's not having problems anymore. And uh, more importantly, I can be like, ooh, this goblin, uh, I want to target its uh, cannon, all right? And hopefully, see, it's disarmed. Disarm, I don't, I, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this is fantastic because now I can, I can be like, oh, you know what? I don't care about this one anymore because he's disarmed. All he can do is just like stalk me or whatever. Uh, this one is uh, still going. Oh man, uh, I should probably repair myself a little bit. Oh, I'm immobilized now. <laughs> so, you know, my left leg and right leg are immobilized, uh, I mean, are dead. So I need to repair at least one of them. Uh, ideally, both of them, so I'm not limping. And now, oh man. Uh, then I am in deep trouble from the same uh, people. Actually, the, I, I didn't even spawn this guy. So now I'm basically done for because this guy is gonna eat me for breakfast. Uh, yep. Well, maybe if I use my indirect fire, I can survive a little bit. Uh, but you can see that I have to slow down the time a lot more than before. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just more fun. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's harder, but of course you can always work with, with the difficulty of the, of the game. Uh, but it's more about actually like going out there, you know, and being, uh, seeing all these all these, you know, like this goblin, for example, already has its right tracks um, um, damaged. So if I want to immobilize it, it's going to be just bam, bam, left tracks. Come on, come on. See, it's immobilized, so now I don't need to, to worry about this. I can focus on someone else, and then, of course, they all just shoot at me like crazy. I love it. So yeah, I just want to show you, like I, I can still win this because obviously I'm, uh, I'm good at this because I actually made that game, but um, it's, it's harder and it's, it's less, okay. It's less predictable in terms of strategy. Like I can just go around in circles. So that's that's kind of the main part. Uh, see the in inaccuracy is is still there, but but now it's not 
about uh, the other guy going somewhere. It's about me. Oh man, <laughs> did you see that? That was almost a hit from way, way there. Uh, I can hack this and deploy this tank. And, you know, uh, the tank is, here it is in 3D view. This is its top-down view. Um, and this is me. Anyway, that's, that's what I'm, oh, hello, tank. Where are you going? Oh, ouch. Ow! Okay, this will be my last last. Oh man, no, no, no. please don't don't die. Ow! Okay, and see, that's what I like to see is is how my my robot is now all uh, in trouble. <laughs> you know, like there's these. Uh, my missiles are off. I can I can repair them, but now I don't think I have oh I have one more thing to repair so I can repair the leg so that I'm not limping. But it's it's just more strategic, it's it's more dynamic and it's more about like your the status of your robot and everyone else than it is about just the hit points, right? Just like oh yeah, this is he has like 130 out of 300. That's fine for smaller guys like this one, but for me, a big robot, I want to, I want to um, have that feeling of of uh, having to balance like you know oh my like what do I repair? Do I repair the laser or the missile pods? You know that's. That's what I'm going for. Anyway, I'm I, as you can see, probably uh, this is making me happy. Um, this is not very often where you're doing a game or when you're making a game, a lot of the times it's really not super fun <laughs> to make a game. Like you're, you're working on something and it's not really visible in the game itself. But this is, and it's it, it does make a big difference um, and this is also by the way like a, a big deal for a lot of people I think uh, is something that people should be aware of if you are making games uh, there is there are people out there who will tell you something like uh, if your game isn't fun in the first like after two days of you working on it then it's a bad idea. Like the game is the bad bad idea, and that what happened there? Interesting. Um, that that does make sense if you're making like an action game or like a, a fighter game. I'm I'm guessing uh, it it is possible to make a demo or like a prototype of the game and gauge if it's fun or not just based on the two days of work. Uh, I generally think that that's not a, the same for games that are more systemic. And it's not just that I think, think that way. It's also that um, people who are much smarter than me, for example, I can... I can remember his name, but the guy who worked on Deus Ex and Dishonored, uh, he said that when they work on these big systemic games for, you know, two years, it, the game is not really playable. I mean, it's, it's not fun to play. And then only maybe two, one month before release, it starts to get, take, get together. It starts to come together. It starts to be fun because all these systems that they had to work on now interlock and that's what makes the, the game fun so hopefully that's what you see here it's not that i am one month before release far from it but things are getting more real and and more interesting uh, and so that's what i uh that's what i like to see anyway uh hope uh, you like it as well as i do um 
and see you later. <laughs>